happening guys? It's Rob from East Coast Customs here again. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys and we want to start talking about a product of the month. So a lot of you guys will be really familiar with us talking about the Cobb Access Port and a lot of the stuff we do. It's one of the major Cobb tuners in Brisbane. Um, but I've got something really excited I want to sort of touch base with you guys on because obviously Cobb Access Port doesn't support necessarily a lot of all the vehicles we tune. So look, we have a lot of popularity with the Cobb and multiple mapping and all that kind of stuff when we're talking about VW market, when we're talking about EcoBoost, our focus market, um, you know, Raptors and a bunch of other different vehicles. But obviously being here in Australia, there's a lot of Ford and Holden and Chevy kind of stuff that obviously this doesn't support. So what I want to talk about over the, over the years, a big thing that's come up with reflashing vehicles and all that stuff is the ability to have multiple maps or different kind of handheld tuning device products and kind of taking you through the timeline of stuff. Back in the day, especially for a Ford, a lot of you guys remember this, which is good old SCT XCAL 3, which is an old sort of multi-tune handheld flash device that we used to sort of flash our stuff into the car. Um, and then these things would kind of, you know, become redundant and pretty much sit in your glove box and you'd only pull them out when you're flashing your next vehicle. Obviously, moving on from that, SCT released the XCAL 4, which is just a fancier version of our old XCAL 3. Once again, this was a pretty Ford specific type device but once again had its heyday and everything was great go over to the hemi world and then you, a lot of you guys be familiar with this which is the old diablo sport dcx device you guys might have also heard of the diablo predator um, and when we start talking chrysler jeep dodge and all that stuff diablo were the boys that you needed to see if you wanted to be able to have multiple maps and tunes and all that kind of stuff the exciting thing which i want to show you guys which not a lot of people know about is hp tuners have collaborated with a company um, and released this thing called the hp tuners n-gauge so not only is this an exciting new product because one, it does allow us multiple tuning and mapping capabilities and all that stuff, but kind of gone are the redundant days where you'd have something big and chunky like this, flash a map in, throw it on the glove box and never be done with it again. So let me show you what this product looks like because I'm super excited to be able to have a chat about this one for you today. Box definitely isn't as fancy, but once we open it up, let's have a look what's inside. So the HP Tuners N-Gage is basically everything that all these old devices used to cover. So Basically, for all our Ford vehicles, makes the old SCT XCAL devices redundant. Basically, a lot of less so with the Diablo stuff because it's a different market. Cobb, but basically, all our handheld device type stuff. But we're talking in a nice, neat little gauge style package like that. So, unboxing a HP Tuners N gauge, we put all this kind of stuff out here. You've obviously got a nice chrome bezel, little gauge, and then we'll obviously go through some functionality of what the things can do. So as you can see, the, the, the humble old handheld device has really come a long way over the years um, in, in terms of what it's capable, what it's doing, and what it actually looks like. Um, kind of the days of the old, for the, for the guys used to be into the Japanese scene, where you used to have 100 different gauges all up the side of your car and everything was flashing. So these are fully OBD capable, capable of doing full data logging, um, full code reading, DTC reading, and obviously multiple mapping. So look, this product, especially nowadays, um, for all your new Holden stuff, for all your new Ford stuff, um, it's not platform specific. It gives us the ability to run multiple maps, multiple tunes, data logging, code reading, and a whole bunch of diagnostic stuff. So, so to show you the next step of this thing, obviously we've unboxed this N-Gage here. Um, look, a little different to the way some of these older devices used to work, where the old SCT, you can only have three tunes, the SCT X4, you set 10 tunes on it. The HP tune is N-Gage. Comes with a micro SD card, so your memory is uh, you know, as, as big as what your SD card can go into it, essentially. So obviously, as they come out of the box, you've got your nice chrome bezel, and they normally come with this like windscreen GPS style mount. And then obviously in the back of this, we've got our OBD cable, which plugs straight into the car. So let's go jump into a car now, and I'll show you what it looks like inside the vehicle. All right, guys, so a big thing we use the HP Tuners Engage for a lot is obviously all the new Ford Mustang stuff we do. So let's jump inside and check out what they look like inside the car. All right, so as I said, out of the box, it normally comes with a windscreen mount, like something like this, which is obviously mount wherever the hell you want, basically. Um, obviously, what you can see here for the Mustang stuff, which is something we bring into the country, uh, S550 specifically, we've actually developed a nice little AC bezel and mount gauge, so it all kind of mounts in here, nice and factory. Um, you, you know, it doesn't take your eye off the prize, don't have a big thing hanging off the windscreen, um, but currently we only have this available for the Mustang model, otherwise you've got your generic mount straight up there onto the windscreen or wherever you want to put it. So, to walk you through some of the functions of the HP Tuners N-Gage, guys. So obviously, look, um, as a starting point, data logger. So obviously what we can do, the N-Gage actually pulls all the OBD and you know manu manufacturer specific information from the vehicle directly, and we have four different screens we can run through on this. So you can see on this one here, 
on this particular six gauge screen. We're obviously logging six different PIDs, you know, different information we want. We can swipe across through that and we have a separate screen with four different PIDs. We can swipe across again. You can see on this one here, and we've kind of got a shift light set up for this one. And then our final one, we've got our, like a dual gauge display. So obviously these are infinitely configurable to however you want to set it up. So you can do, you know, knock lights, you can do um, shift lights, you can do it. And the other cool thing about it um, is that, so you'll see all these colors and the PIDs and all that stuff here are all nice and gray, but we can completely custom configure the end gauge to give us warning lights. So say for example, uh, coolant temperature or air temperature here, we can physically go into the end gauge itself here and set up what color we want the, the air temp pit to display if we're too cold, what the normal operating temperature is, and then say for example, we could set this up, so if air temp went above 60 degrees here, I could set this up to go red and flash, red and me and stuff like that. So infinitely configurable, um, you know, in the case of a Mustang, 100 pids available to do, and then we can obviously, um, so in terms of, as you said, there's no need to, it's gonna tell you everything a scan tool is gonna tell you, it's gonna log most of the stuff that, you know, us as tuners physically use when we're actually calibrating a vehicle. Um, and then we can obviously save all, not only we can see this information, but we can also data log this information to the SD card and then review it later. So obviously that's the, the, the gauge functionality on the end gauge. You can go through here and we can exit the gauge. And then this is the main screen you're gonna see when you come into the end gauge itself. So as I said, you can see up here, we've got our gauge screen, which we just discussed, our tuning screen and our diagnostic screen. So without going into too much detail with the diagnostic screen here, but we've got a bunch of stuff here, but the main two functions through here are read codes and clear codes. So no more potentially having to go into your mechanic and pay 50 bucks for them to just plug in a scan tool and tell you what's going on with your car. You can literally read all your OBD and your DTCs straight off the end gauge. You can clear them, you can do what we want. Um, in an application that we personally at ECC use this for, um, if, if, if an engine light ever came up, what we normally do is get you guys as a customer to ring us, give us a call, tell us that an engine light's come up, we'll go, mate, jump in, read the code, tell me what the code is, and depending on what kind of DTC or information we pull out of this or the data logger, we'll be able to go, look mate, not to worry about, let's come do this. We might advise you to clear the code or we might go, nope, not happy with that, mate, where are you? I'll send a tow truck. So it, it, it gives us a lot of power for after sale support and all that stuff as well. And obviously puts a little bit of power back into your hands as well. Final functionality with the end gauge itself, which is the really exciting bit, is this tuning, um, the tuning section here. So no longer, you know, are you kind of stuck having to run only one map um, when you're talking about it, uh, like a stock ECU calibration. So what we can do, if you look through this one here, we'll go into this menu here. You can go into your tuning menu here. Um, and the beautiful thing about the end gauge, when we configure this, we normally throw, the, throw it into the car, we'll suck the stock tune file out of the car first, and then we will normally go in here and then we can run multiple maps on here. So you'll see here, I've got 13 different tunes loaded on this car at the moment. Um, and we can just click through all the different versions of the tune we want um, and, and, and flash into the vehicle. So a really, really exciting thing we've been using this for in the Mustang platform lately is obviously flex fuel tuning, um, which is a new product that we've come out with, you know, that I don't think anyone in Australia has quite nailed yet, but I dare say we're pretty much there, guys. So to release the launch, I guess, of this Engage stuff, if flex fuel tuning for your Mustang is something you're interested in, give us a call today. Let's have a chat about the Engage and see what we can do. So, um, as an example, in Bentley's car here right now, we've got some 98 octane tunes set up. We've got some E85 tunes set up in here, so you can see, 18 manifold, 98 octane tune only. Look, we've got E85 tunes only in here. We've got flex fuel tunes. I've got a bunch of different tunes for different launch control limiters. And I've got ghost snug. So we've obviously got ghost cam tunes available when you want to do a bit of bep, 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 bep out in the car park. So like I said, what the Engage allows us to do is set up a bunch of multiple maps for you. Um, and once again, gives you full power, full configurability over, you know, put, putting the power back in your hand as the consumer and, and, and giving us some options, which is one thing that platforms like Cobb and some of these other guys have had for so many years now. And it's really exciting to be able to use the HP Tuners platform, which is an amazing, amazing software platform um, and bring some of those same features and functionalities back. So guys, um, Engage product, absolutely amazing. Completely five out of five um, in terms of review and usability on it. Um, in terms of uh, setups, tuning, pricing, any questions, guys, please reach out. Be more than happy to help. Hope to see you guys soon with one of these in your car. That's all for now. See you guys.